Welcome to basic English course. In the previous lecture, I have elaborated all the parts of speech in eight videos and this is lecture number nine. In this lecture, I will tell you about a verb part in details. When you discuss about the verb, instantly tense comes in your mind because verb is an action and action can appear in different tenses. Present, past and future, these three are common. But for some grammarians, there are only two tenses, present and past. With the help of present tense, we can describe our future actions. For example, the train comes tomorrow. The train arrives at 7 o'clock. That means the train will arrive at 7 o'clock. I come after 5 minutes. That means I will come after 5 minutes. I am coming in few minutes. That means I will come after few minutes. I call you later. That means I will call you later. So present tense can describe your future actions. So they believe with the help of present tense you can describe your future actions easily. Second is past. When you talk about these tenses, you instantly get to know about the aspects of tenses. Like if there is a present tense, it might be perfect, it might be continuous, it might be perfect continuous and it might be simple. For me, I believe there are three tenses present, past and future. Keep future tense separate. When you talk about verb, there are several verbs. Go, speak, cook, eat, write, drink. But students get confused about this verb be. In Arabic, be is just similar to kun fayakun. You have heard when Allah plans to do something, he says kun and the things occurs, appears, happens. So kun is an action like be, that means kun and the things automatically done. Like if we talk about its perfect form, it's been. In the other lecture, I will discuss about this been, has been, have been, had been and will have been. But in this lecture, you have to divide it into three tenses, present, past and future. In present tense, you have to keep is, am, are and for past, was were and for future will be. What kind of structures we can make with these three tenses? Only we are discussing verb and in verb we are discussing be family. At first you have to use it with a noun phrase like he is a teacher. A teacher is a noun phrase that means he is a teacher. Hua ustad he is a teacher. And for past, you would say he was a teacher. It's past tense, like he's not a teacher at the moment. He was a teacher 10 years ago. He was a teacher in that school when I was studying. So was is past. For future, he will be a teacher. Don't miss this be with will, will be. Keep it together, keep it connected. He will be a teacher in future coming days. He will be a teacher at the university. He will be a wonderful teacher. You can also add adjective. You can make a bigger noun phrase. What I have taught you in the previous lectures, how to make a noun phrase. Second, we can use it with an adverbial. Adverbial is an adverb or it's a prepositional phrase. Adverbial, for example, he is at the office. At the office, this whole is a prepositional phrase and we are telling about a place. Like he is there. We are using the same structures with is MR. He is at the office. For past, he was at the office. At seven o'clock yesterday, he was at the office. But this time he's not at the office. He's at home. And for future, he will be at the masjid. He will be at the store. He will be at the market. So this is future with prepositional phrase. Third is with ing, continuous action. What is he doing at the moment? For example, what am I doing? I'm writing, I'm delivering a lecture. I'm telling you about tenses and other parts of speech. She is cooking. This is present continuous tense. I will teach you all the tenses in a series. 
But this time I'm trying to figure out few mistakes which students usually commit and I'm trying to give you a road map about these structures. These structures will later help you in tenses and believe me, your tenses part will be easier if you understand this at first stage. Second, in past, he was going to the market. Like when I saw him, he was riding a bike, he was walking and he was going to the market. So he was going to the market, it's continuous action but it is in past. She's cooking, he was going, they will be eating, they will be eating. So what we are using, we are using ing form, continuous action. For the fourth part, like this is second prepositional phrase, third structure, ing form. So actually these are not three structures, rather they are nine structures, one, two, three, present, past, future, four, five, six, present, past, future, seven, eight, nine, present, past, future. So fourth structure is with third form, this is actually passive structure, like food is cooked. This is passive of present simple tense. Food is cooked by someone, like somebody cooks food and food is cooked by him. I teach English, English is taught by me. So what does that mean? I teach English and English is taught by me, like we are highlighting English as a subject. Earlier it was, an, as a, it was used as an object. Here it has been used as, an, as, an, as a subject. Food is cooked for past. Food was cooked. That means somebody cooked the food. So for third form we used it in passive structures. And for future food will be cooked. How easy is that? Food will be cooked, like somebody will cook the food and we don't know about him. Who is he? And for the last structure, I would like to write it here. Last structure is actually being plus third form. Being plus third form, that truly means the action is going on, the action is continuous, but it is also in passive. Food is being cooked. That means somebody is cooking the food. Like he is cooking the food, the food is being cooked by her. The passive of this, like this the passive of this structure and for this past we would say food was being cooked that means somebody was cooking the food so I if you don't understand these structures don't worry about that this is the material of whole month like if I teach you this 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 separately in different videos and and in different days so you would understand easily but giving you this roadmap will actually give you an idea what we are going to learn in the coming lectures step by step. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like it, please share with your friends. And one more thing I would like to tell you. For future, we don't use being with will be. Like food will be being cooked. This is a wrong structure. We don't use it. This is not used in grammar anymore. Again, this is passive structure. This structure is not used in grammar anymore. Please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.